Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to my tutorial on how to install things you need for learning Java. And this is following this website called MOOCFI. That stands for a Massive Open Online so uh, Courses. And it teaches you how to Java pretty easily. And it, it starts from the basic beginners to some advanced uh, Java programming and all. And I think it's pretty nice, according to a lot of um, responses and comments I saw on Reddit, this website is the best place to learn Java. So you would have this link in the description. And if I go to week one right now, it gives you um, these material. They will give you explanation of what source code is, how the commands work, and compiler interpreter. I don't know what that is, but um, we don't need to know it as... It says more on this later. Um, so it, it goes step by step on every simple things and at start you need to learn. And actually, even though I've learned this part a lot of times before, and I've al I was already familiar with it, I did not know of this special character. Not only that they give you explanations and um, step by step instructions, I guess, they will also give you exercises to do, which is even more amazing. If I see right here, they, they will also give you exercises too for you to see if you know how to do some of the codes that you learned previously on up here. So for example, exercise one is name. Create a program that prints your name onto the screen. And the program output should resemble the following, blah, blah, blah. And hello world, making spruce. Hello world is the basic thing. Anyway, yeah, that's how it's gonna work. Um, so how do you check if you're, um, if you've done the exercise correctly and where th this is where, um, NetBean comes in? So how do you install all these things that you need to check your, um, exercises and all? So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. First of all, you would like to sign up to the TMC, Test My Code, um, website from this link that I have for you. Um, the sign up is pretty simple. You just type all of these. I don't think they check. The other, if you don't know what this is, I think this is like Finnish or Spanish, whatever. You would have to type your um, first and last name and then you check, um, check this and you sign up and the sign up is pretty simple. After you sign up, you just log in. My stats and all. Um, there's nothing much you can do here. I have um, I've done five things. I have failed a few times because um, I did them before reading the exercises. And apparently there's some ways you shouldn't do them. Anyway, um, first of all, you want to um, make an account here. Um, you would also want to download um, Java SC Development Kit 8 or higher, newer, or whatever. You would just have to go to Java SE from the oracle.com or whatever. I would have to link on this anyway. And then you go to downloads, just in case you're not um, going to be there. This link will be in the description. And the thing you see on top over here will be the one that you have to download. So you go ahead and download um, whatever OS you have. For John, if uh, I believe you have 32-bit computer. So you would have to download the 86. 86 bit is where uh, uh, is the 32 bit computers. So I've already downloaded it and I've already installed it just now for JDK, as you guys can see, 86. And I've installed it and I've also installed it NetBean. And where I installed NetBean is from this um, how to get started. This is actually how I learned how to do it, but it still got me some trouble. So that's why I am making this video. So you go, uh, you guys go to this website that I have in the description. And from this website, you just scroll down and number two, install J uh, NetBeans. I would have this Windows link for you guys on the description because my brother is going to use it anyway. When you install it, the installation is pretty simple. As it, <laughs> as you guys can see here, he doesn't even go in detail about it, or she. And when you install it, you have this thing, NetBin IDE 
1.0.2. Once you install this, you would have this screen. You wouldn't have all these. These are the projects that I have downloaded for the exercises. If I go to my tools, go to um, plugins, and go to settings. You guys need to do that and do this as well. I need to add a plugin for uh, to have TMC plugin in so that they can test my code <laughs> if my exercises are correct. So the name you want is TMC and I have it in this thing and you guys can copy it and paste it in your NetBean as well. You copy this thing and put the URL, um, replace the URL. Press OK and it will be checking updates for TMC. Once you've done that, you will have to go to available plugins and type TMC. And you will see test my plugin co uh, uh, code plugin. Check on that and you will install the plugin. Uh, oh yeah, accept the terms. It's almost done installing and when it's done installing, yeah, um, it doesn't matter if it says validation warning or whatever, you just continue and you will restart ID right now. I will do that. You don't have to do anything, it will just pop up the CMD like that and it will restart by itself. So don't try to run it by yourself, please. Now that beans will start out quite uh, kind of differently. It will um well, let's wait for my NetBeans to done do its job. Alright, it's done. Well, for my memory, I believe something was loading here, so um, you should wait for whatever is loading down here. Although my thing is loading longer than how long it would take for you guys, because I've already all these projects downloaded for my... Um, week one. So as you guys can see here, these are green and these are black. And green means I have already done the exercises and they are correct. And red, uh, black means I haven't done any, I haven't gone through it yet. And red means I have failed the exercise. So as you guys can see, I have tried out all these and I will show you guys how to do number six and how it works. Once you open uh, your NetBean for the first time, you will see this TMC um, settings thing. If you guys don't see it for whatever reason, you can just go to TMC f since you have uh, installed pl your plugin. You will have this bar now. Go to settings and alright, so you guys will see this um, TMC settings bar when you click the settings thing. I had to restart my NetBeans because it didn't show up for whatever reason. And this is where you enter your username and password that you made for your TMC account uh, before up there uh, when you signed up for TMC. So you type that and for server address, I have it in the description. It's kind of different. After you type the server address here, you want to refresh list. It will get the refresh, refresh list and you'll get um, this 2013 programming with Java part 1 you get that and well I have it in English there's English and F Finland Finnish and you press OK after you've logged in it will ask you if you want to download any of the exercises so I downloaded all the exercises or if it doesn't ask you, then it will like, download slash update exercises. If I click on this right now, it will be checking for new exercises and it will say no new exercises or updates to download. I recommend you guys to install all the exercises because they are pretty um, light. They have not much in them, so it's a pretty fast download for all. So... Um, let me show you guys how to do the addition part. So if you guys want to do any of the projects or the exercises, I guess, you would have to open up this, for, so, uh, for example, addition, go to source packages and default package and double click this and you will open addition. I have to look at the exercise on how to do what I'm supposed to do. If I go scroll down here, 
That will be this shit. Create a program to calculate the sum of, of two numbers. At the beginning of a program, two variables are introduced and mo those variables hold the number to the sum. Feel free to use other variables, other variables if you need to. For example, if the variable holds number 5 and 4, the program should put 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 9. If the variable, okay. Okay, that's what they want us to do. So, I'm going to try running this. Okay. As you guys can see, this there is a problem here. One uh, thirteen thirty seven plus forty two it does not equal to zero. So I would want to change that the result equals to a plus um, b. Now a plus b, and I believe it should be correct. Um, yeah, that should be correct. And if I want to check if it's correct, I will submit it to the server. And it takes less than a minute, so this is completely fine. It's just taking a little longer for me because I am recording my screen and my computer is really bad. Anyway, all tasks passed on the server. Points permanently awarded. Six. Alright, great. Now this is the green thing. And I can go on to learning other things. Uh, well, there's exercise um, number seven that I could try. But I will let you guys try it for yourself before me. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you guys did find this informative, do leave a like because leaving a like is awesome and I haven't done any uh, uh, tutorials for a long time. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next videos that I'm going to make soon, hopefully.